Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Mark Hill from Mark's on the Grill, and today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to get away from the steak and the meat and the chicken and the pork and the roast and the briskets and all that stuff, and we're going to do something actually uh, kind of fun for a, a breakfast or a Sunday brunch. I'm going to show you how to make stuffed French toast with your favorite pie fillings and a couple of things you already got, and we're going to do it on our Weber grill. Now this you got to see. We are going old school with the Weber kettle grill, man. This is, I mean, <laughs> This is what you barbecue on, man. This is real outdoor barbecue grilling. So let me go ahead and grab some charcoal for it. And we're going to spread that out as evenly as we can on the bottom. And we don't need a ton of it because we're just looking to toast bread today, remember? There we go. Oh, yeah, that's giving off a lot of heat. Like I said, we don't need a ton. Let's go ahead and put that over top just like that. Oh, yeah, man. And today, we're going to use a grill mat. Now, there's lots of these out on the market, even one with my face on it. And what's cool about these is it kind of gives you the opportunity to do some dishes that you might not normally do on a grill, you know, for fear of it falling in or, or, or not cooking properly. So we're going to use one of these this morning, okay? So let's put the lid on and check out the ingredients. So for French bread, you want a bread that can take it. So we're going to use challah bread. Nice, dense, thick. It'll really grab that egg and soak it in there, okay? Pie filling's all you need. We're going to do an apple, a blueberry, and a cherry. We got a little bit of cinnamon sugar here to add to our eggs, a little bit of uh, confectioner sugar. There's our cream cheese to spread on. And of course, got to be syrup, man. It's French toast. So let's get going. All right, so first things first, we got to get our egg mixture ready. So we've got eight, uh, what do you got, eight, eight eggs in there? Ten? Bunch of eggs. <laughs> and then you want about four ounces of milk, just like that. Now, this step's optional. We like sugar and we like cinnamon. So we'll put them both in there. Uh, I'm going to use my Bamix for this. Life's just real easy when you got the right tools for it. it. There we go, put it on low and just kind of let it happen. There we go. Perfect. All right, so that's all done. Let me get rid of that and trade it in for my electric knife. If you watch our show, you know I love using this thing. So let's go ahead and slice our bread. So we're going to make three of these. That means we need six. All right, we are really moving along today. Nothing easier than an electric knife, let me tell you that. We'll save this for something a little special later. There we go. All right, now let me get rid of this. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our cream cheese on one side of all of these. Don't you wish this was keto? <laughs> I do. Two, four, six. Uh-oh. All right, little guy's got to go. There we are. We're going to make a couple of those later. All right, here's where it gets messy. So now you're going to go ahead and you're going to put some of the pie filling on every second one of these, because of course the other one's the top. And what you're going to do is make sure that you leave some of it in the bowl to top it off with. So there's the apple. Here comes the blueberry. And my favorite, cherry. Aha, uh -huh, love it. Could you think of anything easier to wow some guests on a Sunday morning? Man, oh man, there we go. All right, so now, go ahead and turn these into sandwiches. There we are. Uh-oh. <laughs> My math skills are terrible. There we are. Another one for a little later. Now, of course, it's time for everybody to jump in the bath. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put it in there, give it a bit of a spin, and take it right to the grill, okay? All right, nothing about this part of it is ever pretty, just so you know. Okay, now, perfect. Have a look at there. All right, so the great thing about these is they don't stick. I love that. Now, listen. Kettle grills are not famous for even cooking, so find out where your hot spots are and kind of move things around. The grill mat's great for that. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I love it. Love it, love it. So all that is crisping up. Let me go ahead and get a serving plate here, just like that. And we're going to need that. All right. So again, keep flipping these. You want to make sure you don't let them burn. 
and you want to make sure that you're getting those hot spots. So I know I got a spot there. Let's slide it over. That one is almost done. I can see that cream cheese starting to melt. That fruit filling is starting to get all, oh man, that looks good. All right, I think you are done. Let's go ahead and put you there. How are we making out? Woo, you are done. There we go. And you are perfect. Oh, look at that. Guys, that is exactly what you're looking for. A little bit of a char, all right, because you want to make sure that everybody knows you're grilling. So now what you want to do is go ahead and match each one of these up. Uh-oh, all right, so I know that's that, I know that's that, so that has to be apple. So this will be a nice contrast, a little bit of cold right on top of that hot. There we go, love it. And <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get sticky, there's no doubt. A little bit of blueberry right there. Now, let's go ahead and now let's go ahead, give it a little bit of confection sugar. There we are. <laughs> this'll, this'll wire them up for the weekend, won't it? <laughs> and let's finish it off with a little bit of syrup. And man, you know that that's good Canadian maple syrup. Oh yeah, that's nice. So guys, next time Sunday brunch rolls around, absolutely break out that grill, break out that barbecue, break out whatever you got. We use the Weber and the grill mat, use whatever you want to use. All you want to make sure of is this gets served to your friends and family, guys. My name's Mark Hill. This has been Marks on the Grill. We will see you for the next recipe. Good.